Do good sugar scrubs have to be complicated? No. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a super simple sugar scrub recipe that I think is one of the best I've ever done on this channel. So instead of talking about it, I'm just gonna dive right into it. So here we are. These are most of the ingredients that the sugar scrub is gonna be made out of. There's also shea butter, but that shea butter is in a big box over there that I'm not gonna bring over here. But yeah, it's basically shea butter, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, subtle alcohol, and Paula wax, and then a few extras. All right, let's get this stuff in my bowl. First up we have coconut oil. Coconut oil is awesome. It is a really hydrating oil, and it has that unique property where it's solid at room temperature, but it's still pretty soft. Next we have some beautiful shea butter, and this shea butter is from Baraka Impact. All of their shea butter is fair trade, and made by women in Ghana. They are an amazing company. And the shea butter that you get there is fantastic. Such good quality. Next we have some sweet almond oil. This is a really great oil, very lightweight, inexpensive, has awesome skin nourishing properties. This is a great oil to use in soap as well. Now come the ingredients that will give our scrub some body and will also add a little bit of heat resistance to the product. Acetyl alcohol will work together with polywax to not only make this scrub more stable, but also improve the product's texture and how it applies to the skin. And the emulsifier we're gonna be using today is polywax. This is a very reliable emulsifier when you're binding oils and waters together. What this will do is help the water in your shower convert the scrub into a lotion, which is actually pretty cool. This takes away the slipperiness that you would otherwise experience making your shower kind of dangerous. <laughs> so I always see an emulsifier as necessary when you're making these kind of scrubs. You definitely don't want to put your customer in danger. I didn't put enough coconut oil in, hold up. I found a wrong calculation on my recipe. That's nice. Don't you hate when that happens? It is the worst, but it's good to catch it before it's too late. So we're gonna melt this all the way down in a double boiler. Once it's melted, we're gonna hold the base at that heat for an extra 20 minutes just to make sure everything is broken down. And then we're going to pop it in the fridge, but we're not there yet. Let's do this one step at a time. <laughs> Okay, so we are completely melted, which is awesome. We're gonna take this off the heat, and then we are gonna give it a quick stir, and then this is gonna go in the fridge to solidify for a period of time. I'm gonna see how it does after an hour. And here is the solidified base, and it's pretty solid. So it is ready to be whipped. We're gonna transfer it actually to a different bowl so that we can do that easier. I'm gonna transfer it to my KitchenAid mixing bowl so that I can let the KitchenAid do all the hard work and not me. <laughs> oh, so it's still actually liquid in some parts. That's okay. I don't know if you could see that, but we got some liquid still beneath the surface. I'm actually going to let this solidify for a little bit longer. <laughs> but I am going to just move the move the base away from the sides so that we can get it to cool down faster that is so interesting okay be right back in let's say half an hour and then i'll be back sound good everybody in the meantime i might as well get my cool down ingredients together so that it's ready whenever that's ready we are going to be doing a blend of fragrance oils today the first one is cucumber mint by windy point and then we have Honeydew Melon from New Directions Aromatics. I'm gonna do a cucumber honeydew melon combination. I really love both of those things. And I thought it'd be really fun to make a scrub scented in these scents. Oh, it smells so good. One of my first soaps I ever made was scented in cucumber mint. And I loved that soap. Next we have Honeydew Melon, which I'm almost out of. I don't know if I'll buy more. 
But this is also a great fragrance oil from New Directions Aromatics. Next, we're gonna add our preservative because even though there isn't any water in this scrub, the scrub is gonna be probably in the shower where water is definitely gonna get into it when I scoop my wet hand into the jar to get the scrub. So the preservative that we're using today is Optifin Plus. And I like to use Optifin for my, my oil-based products. And then the last ingredient is going to be vitamin E to add that nice skin nourishing element. Scrubs can be kind of harsh. So it's nice to add some soothing elements to it. So these ingredients are going to be added to that base along with the sugar once the base has fully solidified. So I think we're finally there with the sugar scrub base. I think we have all of it solidified and we do. So let's transfer this to our mixing bowl. Okay, and then we're gonna add our sugar to this. And for sugar, we're gonna be using a white granulated sugar because I like that level of coarseness the best. Let's add it in like that. And this is why testing your products is important because you might wanna add more sugar or less. It all depends on you and what you like. So I'm going to get this mixed up in the KitchenAid and once it's smoothed out, then we can add our cool down ingredients. So that has already given our scrub a lovely creamy consistency, but there are still chunks of scrub that aren't broken down yet. So we're just gonna scrape down the sides. So we can incorporate all of that, all of those chunks into the main whipping area and no one gets left out. So I switched to the whisk attachment of my mixer just to get all of those little chunks smoothed out and this is the consistency we're working with and it's quite nice i'm surprised at how creamy it is i don't know if i was expecting that now with sugar scrubs especially you have to wait until the next day to see what the final consistency is going to be like because it could always change on you something that could be so creamy and nice one day might get super hard the next day. And another thing you might wanna do when making sugar scrubs like this is exposing that sugar scrub to high heat to see how, what happens to it pretty much. Especially if you're going to be shipping these guys because that can come with its own set of surprises as well. Because I didn't use stearic acid and because I didn't use a hard butter, I don't know how heat stable this sugar scrub is but I've seen sugar scrubs on the market that don't have those ingredients and they're sold commercially to a lot of people. You never know things until you test and try them out. So now we're going to add our cool down ingredients and mix it by hand. I know I could have done it in the mixer, but I, I literally forgot. <laughs> I forgot I had these ingredients sitting off to the side and you basically just stir it in. This scrub is going to be two colors. We're going to have fun with this one. So let's split up the batch into two. I have been without a sugar scrub for a while now and I am so glad I'm making this today. Kale also likes to use my sugar scrubs on the shower. He's a big fan. Okay, we have our two colors. Now to color them. We are going to be using Little Diva Mica and Granny Smith Mica, both from Fizz Fairy, as our colorants today. And then we are just going to stir that color in. What I look for in a scrub is spreadability. I want to be able to scoop that scrub up in my hand and have the majority of it, if not all of it, stay on my hand and then transfer to the body part I want exfoliated. So many scrubs these days fall apart 
when you try to do that and most of it ends up on your floor and when you're charging a lot of money for your sugar scrub that can kind of make the customer pretty upset okay those are our two beautiful colors let's get this stuff jarred for jars i have these four ounce jars with a white lid that i actually got from amazon and these came with little applicator spoons. Isn't that cool? I was looking at the prices on Amazon and you can get jars like this in quantities of, I think this was a pack of 24 or 30, something like that, for a similar price per unit that I would be paying if I bought them in bulk somewhere else. So I was really pleased about that. In my mission to launch my business, I've been collecting packaging materials and trying to think of different ways to package my products for when I relaunch. And I'm really excited to show you guys because so far, I'm really excited. We're just going to alternate the colors. First green, and then pink. And then go green. And there we go. We have an emulsified sugar scrub. So here are the jarred sugar scrubs. These jars from Amazon are pretty, pretty cool. The lids actually have a sealable layer inside of them. And if you're interested, I have a link to them down below. But these little guys, they only gave me five of them in the whole package. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. I was thinking I could include this in with the customer's order. If they were to order this, it'd be cute, you know, cute little add-on. Oh, my husband's calling. I'm not done with these yet though, because I want to show you what the texture is going to look like the next day. And I want to demo these guys for you. So I'm going to cap them and save one for myself and then test them. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, welcome back to my bathroom where I'm going to be testing out this sugar scrub. It is the next day, so it has settled over 12 hours or so. We're going to be testing the consistency and see how it applies. Put the two colors over there. Okay, the consistency has definitely changed. It's no longer that really soft consistency. So let's dip into this. Oh, it smells really good. Let's dip in. It has a really nice creamy consistency, which will make this really nice to scoop and spread. You can see it spreads really easily on the skin, like a nice cream. And with this cream consistency, being able to smooth over your skin, kind of like a lotion, you're really able to exfoliate your skin evenly and not lose most of the product on the shower floor. I am really, really loving this texture a ton. Just giving you guys a close up on this creamy texture. That is gorgeous. Wow. And 
and you can see it turns into lotion when you apply water so it will really moisturize your skin as well as polish it it smells so good and my arm feels nice and smooth but also hydrated which is awesome if you want to make this gorgeous sugar scrub for yourself, there is a link to the recipe and instructions on my Patreon. So go ahead and check out the description box below for that. I'm playing around with a new design for my labels. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But that's pretty much it. Until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.